What up guys? I am on my way to my buddy Kyle Sean's house. If that's how you pronounce his last name, I don't know. I'll ask him when I get there. Um, that's the guy I bought the hatch shell from. Uh, he did include another hatch for me. Uh, but I decided I don't want to take that car home because then I got to deal with all the bullshit and looking like a hoarder. So I'm just going to go to his house, uh, strip some of the shit that I need off of it. Um, hopefully I don't forget nothing. You know I will. Uh, and once I get grab what I want off of it, he's just going to give it away to a different friend of his. Um, I should have brought my Guibo. I didn't know I was going to record myself while driving. But um, it is what it is. If it's a little too shaky, I just won't upload it. Um, but yeah, I'm on the way there now gonna take whatever the fuck I need off of that thing um, I did find a good engine at a JDM importer um, I bought a full SR20 swap there before and that engine was amazing treated me well never had issues uh, so I found a JDM K24 A2 which is I think my favorite K24 series uh, it has the three lobe head so you know, it has VTEC for the intake and exhaust. So I might be going there picking that up. That's a nice Durango. Um, yeah, so I'll record uh, once I get there and I start taking shit off of this car. I'll keep you updated about what I did with an engine. Ew. I thought you took the bumper off of this one. And put it on that other one? No, I was, and I, I saw that it was like taped up from the inside. Like, no, I didn't. Yeah. Can't do it. We'll check the fuel tank in this one. That other one, dude, the, whole, the fuel, fuel tank is gone. Oh, shit. Like the, the, the inside? It, it was all. Yeah, I took the pump. I took, up, huh? I took the pump off, yeah. and it was all rust. Like, it was just yeah. fucking rust came Hopefully out of it. This one's not the same shape. There's a good chance it could be. Yeah, I might I might just buy a new one. Those things. Alright guys, I am back from Kyle's house, um, I ended up grabbing a bunch of shit, not everything I, uh, wanted to get, cause some of the stuff was bad, but, um, uh, the car was missing a clutch pedal, so I grabbed the clutch pedal, um, I grabbed the boot here, I grabbed a U-joint for the steering shaft, um, because mine was not fitting correctly, for no reason, and then I grabbed the one off the other car, and that one does not fit as well. Um, the shaft on the steering rack is a lot smaller than the shaft on this um, on the steering wheel, so it was just not making sense to me, especially because the one joint was in this car. That would be this one. It was in this car, as you can tell. Um, the long side hole is smaller. Short side hole is bigger, and that's how it, you know, should be. But, um, came back home, it did not fit. Took a better look at my uh, steering rack just to notice that there is no uh, power steering lines going to it. So, somebody either put a manual steering rack in or grabbed one from like a EG, I believe. Unless some of these did come with no power steering from factory. So I ordered a new joint last night. Should be getting that. Um, I did notice I was missing the reservoir for the clutch. Uh, just grabbed like some extra shit. Uh, threw some of the stuff in here. Um, I grabbed the um, different rails for the EK. Because if you use the like... Integra seats um, You're gonna run into one bolt that doesn't fit So let's say this one fits This one fits But I believe on the Integra 
that one back there will not fit. So I grabbed the other rails. Um, I grabbed the center console. Grabbed the center console out of that car. Grabbed the glove box, because I'm missing a glove box. Um, some interior pieces. Nothing too crazy. I'm not too sure what kind of mirrors these are. Or what they're off of. But I do want to paint match those to the car. Um, I ordered a new um, cover for the fuse box. A, a billet chrome cover. Should look really good. Um, but yeah, today I'm just going to continue cleaning things up. Installing the slave cylinder, the clutch pedal. Um, finish the rest of the interior dash harness. As you can see, it's a complete mess. I did also get the carpet out of the other car. The carpet, you know, is dirty. It's a mess. Uh, so I'm going to vacuum it, shampoo it, let it dry. Throw the carpet back in as well until some of the other pieces come in. Um, I did find a K-Series in uh, JDM Chicago. Um, JDM Chicago, I do go there uh, sometimes. That's where I got my full SR20 swap. Not too sure if I already mentioned it, but they have a K24A2 that I want to go look at. Great engine for boost. Makes about 200 horsepower stock. So I do want to go look at that engine. Um, don't know what day yet. They're not open on Monday because uh, Labor Day. So I do want to go look at it. It should be around 900 bucks. And then I'll be looking for a transmission as well. Here's the filthy carpet I pulled out of the other car. I vacuumed this portion. That portion I did not. Um, yes, I can buy a new carpet. I more so want to see how this is going to turn out after I'm done washing it. Um, and power washing it and using tough stuff on it. Here's the carpet after I washed it. That spot did not come out. I think that's paint. Whatever. I'll throw it in. If I don't like it, I'll dye it. I can always dye the carpet black. Or just buy a brand new one. Um, red, black. Um, the interior, I took everything out. Vacuumed it. And sprayed all the spots that had uh, some surface rust. Sprayed all of that, waiting for that to dry. Once that dries, I'll throw the carpet in. You'll make it nicer for me to work on the car as well when I am in there rather than on bare metal so yeah update on the carpet I'm over here working on like stupid shit I shouldn't be working on like I would be so much further ahead with this car if all the OEM shit was there but I'm like rebuilding it to build it so not as fun